Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. My name is Ayaz Rafer. In this video, I will show you how to use bottom sheet in your Angular Material project. Material bottom sheet service can be used to open material design panels to the bottom of the screen. These panels are intended primarily as an interaction on mobile devices where they can be used as an alternative to dialogues and menus. But these panels can also be used in your desktop applications so because it looks very good and they have very smooth and nice animation as you can see here if i click here a bottom sheet appears from the bottom with a very smooth and nice animation so we will see how to uh, implement this bottom sheet in your angular project in this video so before we begin please make sure that you have subscribed to my youtube channel and clicked on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my youtube channel so let's begin so first of all, you need to import that module for the match sheet. So add an import statement first on the top. So type angular slash material slash bottom sheet. And then here you need to import the bottom sheet module. Uh, so after you add that import statement, you can you have to add it in the import array. So after you are done, then here you need to add a button that will trigger an event, and with the help of that event, you will open that bottom sheet. So let's make sure that we have imported the button module as well because we are going to use Angular Materials button. So I'm going to import the button module as well. So I just have imported the uh, material button module and added it in the import array. Next, I'm going to add this button in my app dot component.html and here I will type open and I'm going to add a directive mat raise button and let's see how it looks like here maybe I need to add it outside of this div okay yeah that is fine so now if you click on this open button then it should show a bottom sheet from the bottom like we saw in the documentation so <clears throat> to proceed in that direction we need to generate another component that will store all of the content that would be displayed in that bottom sheet so let's generate a component to generate a component you need to type ng c ng g c and then you will type the name of the component. I would uh, call it bottom sheet and press enter. Okay, you can see that uh, this component has been generated with uh, these four files and it uh, has been uh, declared in the app module automatically. As you can see, it is saying that app.module was also updated. So if you go there, you would notice that uh, <coughs> The bottom sheet component was declared automatically so you don't need to declare it by yourself so after that go to the actually just add an event on the open button and type click and type open sheet and now i'm going to define that function in the component class type open sheet and also i need to uh, add a constructor function so that I could inject the uh, bottom sheet service. So type private bottom sheet and add bottom sheet mat bottom sheet. And now, if whenever this function would be called open sheet, we will open the sheet to do that. You need to type this dot bottom sheet dot open and in the open you need to pass the component that you just generated uh, with the help of the angular cli so type 
bottom sheet component make sure you have imported that for me it automatically imports whenever it shows me a suggestion i just press enter and then it imports that component automatically for me that saves a lot of time for me but uh, in your case you uh, should make sure that you have imported it if it does not import for you automatically then you have to import that manually by specifying the path of that, that component so let's test if that is working fine or not so i'm going to click on the open and you can see that all bottom sheet is being displayed uh, with a very smooth animation and uh, in a nice way next we need to add some content right now there is a default content that is available in that sheet so let's update the content i'm going to remove this and here i'm going to add matte so before we need matte list component here so to use the matte list component we have to import the matte list module so let's try to import matte list module and we also need to uh, import it through the import statement and type angular slash material slash uh, list and then import matte list module okay we just have imported the matte list module now we can use it in this bottom sheet dot component uh, type matte list we need to use matte nav list and inside the matte nav list we need to add multiple nav list item for that type matte list item and here type span and type matte line and here you can uh, add the name of the action for example save and again type span and type matte line and type click to save your data so similarly we need to add more items uh, if you want to i will add two more items save delete and new so before uh, doing that let me add another function here that would be called on click event so type click and by clicking on the item for now i will just close dismiss the uh, bottom sheet but in the real uh, scenario you might want to call an api if you click on uh, this button so for now i'm just going to hide it so so i will call a dismiss function i did not define it yet i will just define it now so i have defined the dismiss function i will add the logic later but for now i have defined the function now i'm going to copy paste this mat list item three times so first we have the save second we will have delete button and then at the end i will add new so click to delete your data click to create new item so all right let's see how it looks like uh, you can see now it is looking more interesting we have three options in this bottom sheet you at this moment if you click any of these nothing is happening but we want to hide this uh, bottom sheet whenever you click on any of these options so let's implement the logic of the dismiss function go to the bottom sheet dot component dot ts and you need to inject the bottom sheet ref service so that you could uh, uh, dismiss it so type private mat type bottom sheet ref and type mat bottom sheet ref and in the parent in the angular bracket you need to pass the component name that you want to hide on this list so, so i would use the same component name that we have because i want to hide this component uh, this bottom sheet so add the same name here in the angular brackets now in the dismiss function just call this dot bottom sheet dot uh, bottom sheet ref dot dismiss this would hide the bottom sheet for you so let's try i click on the open you will see all of these options i am going to click on the delete button and you can see it has dismissed the bottom sheet successfully
so you have seen that uh, it is very interesting very nice uh, option uh, uh, or feature for you to use in your projects to make your projects more interesting and more uh, good looking so you ha also have seen that it is very simple and very easy to use it uh, this bottom sheet in your projects so i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video and uh, before i leave please make sure that you have subscribed to my youtube channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any notifications from my youtube channel and uh, also please make sure that you have liked my video and uh, leave any comment and also please share my video with your friends and family to help others so thank you for watching my video see you next time